Hey, what is up my fellow collectors? Today we are going to have a first look and review of one of the most anticipated and hyped Funko Pop in the One Division line, the Scarlet Witch number 823. So before we begin, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and click the subscribe button to be updated in my future uploads and early reviews. A lot of things are now coming which are already pre-ordered way ahead, so don't miss out in our first look videos regarding the toy hobby. Okay, now let us start with the box of this Funko Pop. It's just a normal box after all, nothing special. We have here the line name above, one division and it's number 823. You can already see here from the window that the Scarlet Witch we have here is the one that's holding a spell book, which if I remember cor correctly is what we call as the Dark Hold. But anyway, let's check out the details of this Funko later once we pop it out of the box. So here are the sides of the box. Here's one on the right and here's one on the left. Meanwhile, at the back of the box, we see the other figures that are included in the set. We have her division, the Scarlet Witch. Monica Rambeau, Agatha Harkness, and of course, we also have the Hot Topic Scarlet Witch, which we will also be doing a review of anytime soon. Alright, let's now see what the inside has to offer. There you have it. Here's the Funko Pop, the Scarlet Witch number 823, and I gotta say that Funko did an amazing job in this figure. Anyway, the difference between this one and the other Scarlet Witch Funko is that this Scarlet Witch apparently features the Book of the Damned, also known as the Darkhold, which was shown during the post credit scene of the last episode of the WandaVision series. Whereas the Hot Topic 1 features her transformation from Wanda to Scarlet Witch during her battle against Agatha Harkness. Now let's take a closer look at the details of this Funko Pop. We do get here a Funko stand which is attached to her back since she is in a levitating position. Also in front, we can see in the chest part of her clothing are a semblance of what seems to be Vision's Mind Stone. It's a small detail that is very much appreciated. She's wearing a fingerless gloves in both of her hands and it seems like she's conjugating some spells while reading the Dark Hold. The magic blends well with the color of the figure and it's painted with red and black. There you go. The hair is pretty detailed as well and we can see here that the, the black lining separates the hood from the crown she's wearing. So here's a close-up look of her face. She has here well-rounded eyes with the wings on its sides. Again, a small detail but it's one of the things that makes Scarlet Witch Scarlet Witch. And for the shoes, unfortunately, unlike the Hot Topics one, we can't see the distinction between the sweatpants and the, or the jogging pants and the shoes. But you can see there a very unnoticeable line, which I guess it separates it. But unlike in the Hot Topic ones, it's straight black and there's no different paint job for the shoes. Now let's move to the back of the figure. Here we see the hood and the cape. And I like to point out how Funko made the details amazingly intricate. Here we see some lines on the cape itself, which I think is also textured and you can fill it with your hands when you touch it. It goes all the way up until, as well as the hood. It's also textured and you can fill it with the hands and you can see almost the letter W del, which I guess means which for some reasons, or I guess Wanda, I don't know. I'm not sure if it's intentional or not, but still it's a good detail. It's pretty textured. Overall, I like this figure. I gotta say, this is by far my most favorite Scarlet Witch Funko Pop, next to the first appearance figure from Marvel's 80th anniversary. So there you have it. It is surely a good Funko Pop to add to your collection, especially if you get it at retail price. That's all for our Funko review today, and I hope this video helped you in your decision whether to get this Funko Pop or not. Thank you so much and have a great day.